a warm welcome to you this morning. We welcome all of the conferences to full membership here at FMC. The special, this is, this is a special memorial service this morning for everybody, for all the people we've lost during the year. Um, with COVID, it made learning difficult. Please pray for learners during the exams. There's a healing service 28th of November at 8.30. The nomination forms for society stewards uh, on the welcome desk at the back. So just grab one when you leave. Um, so, uh, Zoom Sunday School is at 7.30. Uh, Zoom Teen Church will be at 9.30 for grade 7 to 10. Uh, the flower roster is on the notice board at the back of the church. Please fill in the date you would like to put flowers in the church. We need people for the sound media desk. If you are interested, please contact Mark Mack. Activities in the youth house this morning uh, in the week, Narcotics Anonymous, Mondays at 7.30. Young adults, uh, Alcoholics Anonymous, and Thursdays at 7.30 as well, Friday Night Live. You can contact my lady if you're interested. We thank the, the Bates family for providing us with the flowers today. Um, then ongoing needs, uh, Jackie van Onslen, Sydney Shawo, Carol Friend, Poppy Radipape, Robert Andrian, Ruda Siegel, and Tandeka Nguengu. Thank you. Good morning. Can you hear me? Good morning. Yeah. I'm not sure whether this is this is where my problem is. Is it fine now? Good morning. Maybe I had to have a little bit of God. Are we okay now? Okay. Good morning, everybody. I'm sure this is the good morning from heaven that we have to do this morning. That the Lord hears with is here with us and the Lord is with us. Um we are at this service, as the steward has said, that we are going to have a memorial service, a very special one for um, the families that lost their beloved, beloved ones uh, in 2020, between 2020 and 2021. Some have passed through COVID, um, uh, the COVID pandemic uh, related uh, diseases. Some are just passed out of various reasons um, that God has put in our lives. We come to this uh, service in Thanksgiving and we want to, as we will be petitioning God, we are going to be starting um, with the first slide, please. Thanks for your, for your presence in this service. 
Okay, okay. We have visitors today, and let me maybe just welcome you uh, to the service. Um, as we are seeing on the on the screen, there is a writing that you can't see properly. Don't worry about that. It's me who's got four eyes will read that, and then the congregation will read in white where you can where you can see. You will read in white. Everywhere you see white, know that you have to read and read loud, you know, as if there is life in your, in your body. Um, I think the one on my left is a bit clearer than the one on my right. So you can pick and choose the ones that you will be able to see. Thanks for your presence in this service. Thank you for this new day of healing. Really? Okay. Let me let me read. Let me read from what you are seeing. Okay. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. The Holy Spirit is here with us. The creator of the universe is present with us. We take our call to worship from Psalm 123. We lift our eyes to our gracious parent. As the eyes of slaves look to their master. As the eyes of maids look to their mistress. Amen. We will take our first hymn and we will all rise and sing together as we ask. Uh, When I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. When through the woods and forest blades I wander and hear the birds sing sweetly in the trees. When I look down from lofty mountain grandeur and hear the brook and feel the gentle breeze. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. God, his son not sparing, sent him to die. I scarce can take it in that on a cross my burdens gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. 
Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. And take me home What joy shall fill my heart Then I shall rise In humble adoration And there proclaim My God, how great Thou art Then sings my soul My Savior God to Thee We thank God. We thank God for the song of praise and worship this morning. And we continue with adoration and worship. As we continue to read, you read on white and I read on the color. Glory to the Lord whose works endures forever. Praise Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Hail our God, creator of the universe. All worship our everlasting hope and home. God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Amen. We, we, we go on to confess and to intercede for the world and those who are mourning amongst us. I will rise to worship you daily. The ropes of death entangles me. Where can I go and who, where do I hide? Who can I call and whom will answer? Dear Lord, you are the stronghold of my life. Yeah, so there's, there's some change. Let's read together. Gaze upon us in grace at this time of our morning. Reign your healing spirit to heal the sick, infected, and suffering. Strengthen and comfort us, we pray. Grant the soul of our dearly departed eternal peace. Fill the world with your mercy and grace. Amen. To the glory of God in three persons. Amen. We come to another praise and worship song where we ask God to guide us and to lead us in our time in, in various situations and circumstances where we are finding ourselves. Guide me, O thou great Jehovah.
We may be seated. In fact, when we are singing and when we are at the point of standing up, if the families feel like they cannot stand up, you can just stay seated. Uh, we are here to comfort you, so we allow yourself to be vulnerable in our presence, and we thank God for that. We are at the point of thanksgiving and petition. And I will read, continue reading, and afterwards I will light the candle and just allow God to welcome us in, in this service. Thanks for your presence again in this service. Thank you for this new day of healing. Holy Spirit, come and take control. We pray together the Lord's Prayer. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I'm not sure whether we can switch off these. It's not, not the light, the, the fans. I light this candle as the light of Christ has come on earth. I light this candle as a new way for all of us in Christ. I light this candle as Christ is a home for us in time and eternity, for us on earth and for all in heaven. We find our being in Christ.
We have come to a point of thanksgiving and offering, and we will ask the choir to sing for us Melipiluli Moya as we come forward uh, to come and give our offering of thanksgiving to God. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gifts that you have received this morning. We bless you. We glorify your name. And we ask that these gifts, Lord, will be used for your glory to touch the hearts of those who are still in seeking for you, those who are still looking, and those who are lost. Jesus Christ, bring them home by these gifts. And we have some of us who could not give, Lord, because not to, or we did not want, but because of the circumstances we're finding ourselves in, we pray that your mercy will look up to us, that you'll open the treasure chest of heaven and extend our territories, that Lord will bless each and every one of us abundantly, that Lord, we can come to a point when one day poverty will no longer be on our, our, our mouth. A, a, a mourning and, 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 and crying will fly away when joy in the morning comes back into our hearts, into our homes, into our children, into the lives that you have given to us. We bless your name and we glorify you at this time. And we thank you for being the God who has always been, who is, and who will be forever. In Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen. We may be seated. We find the two scripture readings. We read the first scripture, Psalm 90. We read from verse 1 to verse 17. Um, or we'll end at verse well, let's read it all, 17. And then the sex, second scripture will be in the New Testament, Revelations 21. we we'll read from verse 1 to verse 9. We start with some, the Old Testament reading, Psalm 90, verse 1 to 17. It reads as follows. A prayer of Moses, the man of God. Lord, we have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. Before the mountains of born, you were or you brought forth the whole world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn people back to dust, saying, return to dust, you mortals. A thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone, or by like a, a watch or in the night. Yet you sweep people away in the sleep of death. They are like the new grass of the morning. In the morning it springs up anew, but by evening it is dry and withered. 
We are consumed by your anger and terrified by your indignation. We have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your presence. All our days pass away under your wrath. We finish our years with the moon. Our days may come to 70 years or 80 if um, the strength endures. Yet the best of them are but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass and we fly away. If only we knew the power of your anger, your wrath is as great as the fear that is your due. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Relent, Lord, how long will it be? Have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as you have inflicted, afflicted us for as many years as we have seen trouble. May your deeds be shown to your servants, your splendor to their children. May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the works of our hands. Oh, uh, yes. Establish the works of our hands. And this is the word of the Lord. We give thanks to God. The second scripture we find in the New Testament, we read Revelation chapter 21. We read from verse 1 to verse 9. Revelations 21, 1 to 9. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is among the people, and he will dwell with them. There will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will, no more, there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things have passed away. He was seated. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, write this down. For these ways are trustworthy and true. He said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. Those who are victorious will inherit all this. And I will be their God and they will be my children. But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters and all liars, they will be consigned to the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. And this is the word of the Lord. We give thanks to God. At this time, I would like for us to have a song which we will sing uh, or it will be played from the back. And we will just uh, sit and um, make ourselves the song to take control of our lives at this present moment. Let us just listen to the song, Son of Suffering. Oh, the perfect Son of God in all His innocence here walking in the dirt with you and me. He knows what living is. He's acquainted with our grief. Man of sorrow and son of suffering.
God, we thank you that you are a God who bleeds, who weeps, who suffers with us. We thank you that you are a God who knows every distress that we find ourselves in. You are a God who poured your, 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 your crying over us. You are a God who, who, who shared the pain of the world with us. We see you, Lord Jesus, weeping on the cross. We saw you, Holy One, victorious from the grave. We saw you, Lord Jesus, bounding the wounds of the broken. 
when he saw you lifting up the dead from their deathbeds, and he gave all of us a place, a new understanding, and a way of knowing and relating to you. We come to you in this service, Lord Jesus, asking for your presence, asking for your healing, and asking that you'll hear each and every cry. You will see each and every morning. You will bind each and every wound that is still open, that will help the scars to heal as we go on, Lord Jesus. You are, a, you are a son of suffering. You have been with us. You are with us. You, are, you will be with us forever. And we thank you, Jesus, that you are not ashamed as God to come and be one with us, that you are not ashamed as God to be made a little lower than the angels, that we also can fathom the love of God. We can understand that how great is this love, how great is this, is this joy that is found only in you. We give this service over to you, Holy Spirit. Take control. Heal each and every heart. Receive our daily departed into your presence and give them each eternal joy as you open our eyes to see afresh that you are a God who is with us, our home, our building, our sanctuary in time and forever. And we pray this in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. We are now at the point where we are going to have a, um, the, a roll call and we'll be having candles in front here. I did not make the, um, the, our, our visitors uh, to sit in one place in a way that I wanted us to be uh, sort of relaxed. There must not be any formalities, but you must be relaxed. And we will do it in this way. And I will call in the meantime Sharon Brace to come as the secretary of the, of, the, of the society to come and she will be doing the reading, the roll call for us. And we will do it in this way. As we go, we, go, we are going to be calling the first three people. And they will be calling in, 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 in groups of three. As the name of your family member is called, you will come either to here or there, depending on where you are. We are trying to observe social distancing. We are trying to also um, help you to be in a space where you can come and maybe as a, as a family with more than one or more than two, and you have your moment at the time. The candles are put, the candle for the people who are seated there, the candles for the people who are seated there, and the candles are in the, with the, this in the center. So we will um, take the candle, come and light, say a prayer if you want to say a prayer, and then go and sit, and, and go back and sit. And I'm just saying, uh, it is up to you, and we have put this in this a little bit of soil, so that you might be reminded of how our weaknesses and our fragility, and that we are soil, and to soil we will return. And if you like, you can take the candle home with you. I was saying to somebody that we are, um, we have load shedding, and the load shedding is here with us these days, so the candle might just be a light at the time in your in your um, in your home and remind you and remind us that of the presence of our loved ones with us all the time so we will take the candles if you do not want to take the candle away you can just um, leave it burning in, in 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 the soil make a little bit of a hole and let it stand there or you can you can um, extinguish it and, and and leave it there at this time and as that goes on we will be having the choir will be singing a different songs just at random and we will be having that moment and also on the screen will be um the the, the pictures of our beloved, the, the beloved, the, the departed ones. And as the whole congregation, we will then be praying for you, for strength, for new strength, and that God will lead you and lead you um, um, to, towards healing. We are in your hands, um, Sharon. Okay, um, I'm going to read the names and then the families can just come forward. And you can take your time. I'll only read the next names when you've been seated, okay. The family of Dick Wartington, Gloria Mojave, and Patricia Ann Stoltz. Thank you. 
the family of Cochrane Larka, Puki, Florence Tipe, and Ian Bassingwaite. The family of Samuel Mashlope, Flip the Toy, and Ron McGee. The families of Mpo Evelyn Mawela, Repos Mokwe, Mahotsebele Mac Cooper. The family of Mangakani Magdalene, Mahoma, Lesibi Peter, Sewetse, and Raymond Steen.
the families of Andre Lentor, George Forbes, and Joyce Makoka. The families of Victoria Chayita Nzimande, Linda Nzimang, Ruiz Watsida. The family of Nukuku Kelo Nfotu Msidisi Nzimande. The family of Macy Makoka and Aubrey Makoka.
thank you for this time that you have led us in this shop worship at this time of the service that lord we have come to the reality that we are in your hands we have come to the reality that our lives on this earth are not permanent but that we come lord jesus that we have taken away those who we have loved we have taken you have taken away to yourself those who had agreed and had union with you and allowed yourself lord jesus to become one with them we pray holy one that it has not been easy and it is not easy in our lives we pray that your holy spirit will comfort us we pray that your holy spirit will touch each and broken heart will mend each and each, each broken spirit that each and every one of us will feel the comforting presence of the holy spirit of god the one who came and took the chaos away the one who controlled chaos holy spirit of god the comforter the guide the advocate and the intercessor the one who stands between god and ourselves in speaking to us in tongues and in languages that we cannot comprehend with the messages from god make this message true and clear for us this morning that you are god our home in time and in eternity that you are our, our god from everlasting to everlasting from generation to generations you are a god who bleeds you are a god who weeps you are a god who is with us all the time we, we commit this family each and every one of the families lord into your care give them new strength a breathe afresh in their spirit and give them a future to go on to with hope with faith and with understanding that you are a god our home our sanctuary our refuge our strength in times of trouble our help and we pray this with in thanks with thankful heart and we thank you lord that you've been with us up to this time in our service we say we give you honor and glory son father and holy spirit to the glory of your son jesus christ our savior and lord amen um we come to a point where we have to confess our faith you know at times when um, life becomes difficult we we, ha we have a problem as to how what where is our faith where do we where are we embedded as people and especially as those who believe in christ we are going to do the confession of faith faith which is the apostle creed and i'm not sure whether we are going to be seeing this properly especially from that side um, can we read the, the creed? And those who know it can just read it out even when we are not reading the word, word to word. I believe in God our parent, almighty maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, her only begotten son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose from the dead and ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand believe in the holy spirit i believe in the holy catholic church the whole communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the dead and the life everlasting amen we pray together this prayer as we pray that god receive our departed into his presence into his presence in heaven we are here in god's presence to remember our beloved families who departed to our home in heaven we commit their souls to the triune god giver of life as they join the church in heaven as cloud of witnesses Give us joy of knowing that they live in eternity with you. Jesus Christ, our great ancestor, receive them, we pray. Unite as one church in heaven with us on earth to the glory of the resurrected Messiah and the risen Lord. Amen. We continue a prayer of thanksgiving and we pray together. Heavenly Parent, we thank you that you received our families to eternal rest. We remember the love we shared and cherish all memories that we made. We pray that you give us the courage to continue to worship you in spirit and truth, in faith that we will meet again in eternity. 
to the glory of Jesus Christ, our resurrected Messiah and living King. Let us just assure one another and the congregation can stand, the families can stay seated. Lord God, you assure us that wherever two or three gather in your name, you are there. Lord Jesus, our resurrection and life, send us again as witnesses of the resurrection and life in you. We um, are going to take the theme, the, the song, that's going to be just preceding the, the theme, Abide With Me, Fast Falls, The Even Tide. If you would like, rather prefer to sing it seated, you may be seated at this time. Um, it is just up to you what you can do. Abide with me and that God will abide with each and every one of us. The darkness departs. May be seated. Let us pray. Eternal God, Lord of life, conqueror of death, our help in times of trouble, we pray that you will comfort all who mourn and give us all your grace to worship you and experience you in the presence of death. Lord, assure us of eternal life in you and enable us to put our whole trust in your goodness and mercy. Loving Heavenly Parent, thank you for your everlasting love. Help us now to turn to you with honor and submissive hearts that through the assurance and encouragement we get from scripture, we may have hope and be lifted above our distress into the light and peace of your presence. 
Almighty God, our refuge and strength. Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who understands our human weakness and sorrow, who wept at the death of a friend, who stood along those who mourned. Help us to trust in him, to come with confidence to your throne of grace, so we may receive mercy and strength in our time of need. Holy Spirit, eternal comforter of God, come upon us in power and strength that we may experience God in our hearts today and always through Jesus Christ, our Lord, your Son, our Savior. Amen. Let me take this time and just say thank you for going through what we have gone through up until now. It is uh, in the understanding of the Synovel Methodist Church, a community of care and a community of love, a community that knows that discipleship is sharing the love of Christ with others, touching each, touching one another, feeding the lamb and um, the sheep of Christ and being prayerful and being service, the people of service at all times in our lives. It is uh, the leadership of this society in the Mahali Seket and uh, the members wish and desire that you be comforted and that you be healed from all the pain that you have suffered and that you are suffering. And that it's a way of saying to you that we are alongside with you. And if you need anything that we could help, we, were, uh, we are available. May the Lord, the peace of the Lord be with you. Um, friends, let me welcome you all to, to this special service and, and say that we gather at this very special time, special time where we have set aside a special memorial service for our dearly departed. departed. For those that uh, um, I think all of us agree that we have experienced a time of great uncertainty of sorrow and of pain that none of us pandemic has devastated the whole of humanity, but it has shown us how fragile we are, how weak and mortal we are. But it has also shown us how short life can be. There are various theories about COVID-19. Some believe that it is a result of the environmental distress, still others believe that it is a punishment from God. One thing that we can all say um, uh, or agree on is that it has caused deep sorrow and left many scars which will take long to heal. Allow me to take this time and pass our heartfelt condolences from the leadership and the members of this society. Let me assure you of our continued prayer and the Holy Spirit as helper to comfort and heal all your pain. Allow me to take this time to offer you a balm of Gilead that will bind the wounds and sew together the broken spirit. May the word of my mouth and the meditations of my mind be acceptable to God to pour down her healing power and comforting presence in your lives. Amen. The theme for the, for the sermon this morning is God is our home in time and eternity. We have read the two scriptures. Um, the first one we read from the Old Testament, Psalm 90, where it is believed generally that it was a psalm that was written by Moses after 40 years of traveling in the wilderness, a journey full of uh, challenges of pain, even temptation to fight with God and call God to repentance. A time marked with real fear from strong enemies, from hunger, from thirst and diseases, even snake, snake bites, but also in the company of people who could not understand. You see, Moses had an encounter and conversation with God at the burning bush. Others have no insight of that incident. You might be left with children who do not understand, or parents or wives even instead of their partners who have gone. You might be having partners and, 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 and families who have lost kids and siblings and are lost in the wilderness of sorrow, of pain and suffering. And it is at this time that Moses writes this psalm at the end of a 40-year journey 
of the time of suffering and time of pain. You have, we have no, um, uh, you find that you do not have answers, just like Moses did not have answers to some of the questions that the Israelites were, were, were asking. Sometimes other people will come to you as they came to him, some were hungry, some were thirsty, all others were wishing for things that was left behind in Israel's pot of meats left in, in Israel. All people come to you just like they used to come to Moses while you are with them in the same situation and affected by the same circumstances. But as Christians, you know, where can we find help but from God? And this assurance you give even with a hug or a hand that wipes a tear away because they might not know. But take it from Moses, somebody who knows. The Lord is our dwelling from generation to generation, everlasting to everlasting, and he has been God. Before the earth were formed, before the sea came into being, before me and you were even thought about, God was our dwelling. It is a psalm that grounds Israel in God. It says from generation to generation, there is no time that God has not been our home. There is no time that God has not had any relationship with us. Before the strong mountains were formed, the vast earth were made. Moses has come to view God, uh, to a view of God he didn't have at the burning bush. At the burning bush, he was still being called into Christianity. Most of us, when we took a, 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 a journey of Christianity, we thought that it was going to be a life that is easy. But at the burning, at the burning booth, there was no Red Sea. At the burning booth, there were no enemies. At the burning booth, there were no snake bites. At, at the burning booth, there was no Pharaoh. Then God said to him, I am God. I am who I am. And I will be who I will be. Now he comes at this time. He has seen, he has gone through trouble, through hardships, when facing enemies and poisonous snake, when water becomes bitter, even when people think there is hope, and when they get to the hope, only troubles can be seen. But uh, Moses tells of an unshaken God, a God who is unshaken by adversity, a God who is unmoved by trouble. Moses has seen people die in the wilderness. 40 years, some people die. Among the people who died, who were dear to Moses, was Miriam, his sister, the one who raised him, the one who protected him, the one who was with him at the point when Pharaoh needed to kill all the boys of the Israelite boys. His, his brother Aaron also died. And he, Moses, ex has experienced God's anger. He knows the pain of loss. He knows the pain of mourning and grieving in the wilderness of pain, in the wilderness of vulnerability, in the wilderness of weakness, in hopelessness, just like you and me during this pandemic. Yet he has also experienced who is the ever-present protector, the healer, and the comforter. God is our home. The Hebrew understanding of a dwelling, like the psalm says, the Lord is our dwelling. God is our dwelling. It is, it means a refuge, a shelter, a home, or a sanctuary. And he says, ever since I knew myself, ever since I was told by, by, about you, ever since I've come to know you, from generation to generation, from everlasting to everlasting, you have been our home. A home is the place where we can hide from harsh weather. It is a place where enemies will find it difficult to find us. It is a place where we can find comfort even when we are sick. Hence, Psalm 91 encourages us to dwell in the shelter of the Most High God so we can rest in the shadow of the Almighty because the Lord is our refuge and fortress, our helper in times of trouble. It was even so for, the daily, for our daily departed during pandemic. Um, some passed from the pandemic and its complication, others from various ailments. They came to experience a place of safety, 
and protection and grace, when this world could no longer offer peace to their bodies, when their souls were troubled, when their minds could not rest, the love and peace of God that surpasses understanding was the only option for them. And God, from everlasting to everlasting, he has been the comfort, has provided us with this love. John in Revelation writes from Patmos, where his own experience of someone who comes to know God afresh, especially while facing dire and unbearable circumstances and situation. He is blind, not because of the cataract, not because the eyes uh, biologically could not, but his eyes has been taken out. His eyes has been gushed out for his unrelenting faith in God. Allow me to say that bad things do happen to good people, to holy people, to saints, to believers, even to innocent children. The Sesudu Hymnal says, Kele Fati, Lama Shoko, Lwananto Echolo, Haria Tuanela Mari, Kusuta Bopilo, Yari Yari Bolokang, Kijeso, Mo Moloki, Warun, Mo Peri Wamutwana Yena, Ardi Talelo, Lidi Poho, Kimo Kawali Fati, Mitcheso Yena, or Fasirwalo, Kopuso Nyakahiso. Hence Christ seeing the disciples uh, troubled and seeing the disciples uh, struggling, he says to them, take heart, be courageous. I have come, I have overcome the world. Listen to John. And John says, then I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the old one was no more. But listen further, there was no longer sea. The sea was no longer there. The meaning of the sea in the Bible, it's um, the, 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 the association with the monsters of the sea, the troubles that we have never seen. The, there was no longer sea means there was never evil. Evil was not, was not there. Wickedness was not there. Anti-Christian powers were not there. Diseases were not there. Suffering and monies are, are, are no longer, were no longer there. So John says, then at this time, I knew that this is a place where I wanted to be, the new heaven and the new life. Because all evil, all diseases, all pain and suffering have got no space in the presence of God, has got no space in the new world and in the new heaven. Imagine yourself in pain and suffering comes this reality where you find yourself in a place where you feel your body completely healed and you are in the place of peace and comfort where you can only hear those who are witnessing, those who are praising, those who are worshipping. When, when you are still uh, captured and when you are still uh, uh, in, in this, in this uh, 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 capturing atmosphere, then he says, then I heard the voice say, I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end i am making all things new and we have just realized that you are healthy we have just realized that there is no pain in your body anymore and you have just realized that there is peace and serenity in the place where you are finding yourself in other words the alpha if you have not met me in the beginning i am still here at the end of your life as omega the one who makes all things new. You come to a place and a point where there is no longer pain, where there is no longer suffering. The powerful presence of such love, healing, and peace is freely available to you. Only if you can open your eyes, your heart and your mind and your arms to receive God through Jesus Christ. It is at this time, I believe, and I want to know, I want to, uh, to, to say to you that it is at this time when a person who was alive a moment ago agrees to transit and enter into, into heaven, into a relationship with God, into a place where he can live or she can live in eternity, in time in, in, with God at this time, even if it is on, on earth, the end of their life, it is the, new, the beginning of a new life in heaven. The voice continued to say, it is done. Hey, it is finished. You are never going to experience the pain anymore. You are never going to go back 
to those who hate you. We're never going to have to explain yourself anymore because you have come to a place of love. You have come to a place of grace. You have come to a place where peace is freely given. You don't have to fight for it. You don't have to question for it. You don't even have to, 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 to lobby for it, but it is available and present for you. It is done. It means it can never go back again. It can never be that what, 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 what we have had uh, before. I am the, the culmination of who I am and what I wish to do for you comes at this point, where there is no more crying, where there is no more pain, where there is no more uh, suffering. And I think you can agree with me that it echoes the Jesus victory on the cross when Jesus said, it is finished. When it is done, there is nothing else that still needs to be done. God has become one. Um, uh, Revelation says the dwelling of God is among the people. God is one with people at this time. I want you to imagine, just travel with me as you come to this place from the pain that you are feeling and you transit into a place where there is absolutely no pain, but peace. That surpasses understanding. Where you, it's like you are looking, you are facing, face to face. You are now in, in contact with God. And you can say, is this what I've been praying for? Is this what I've been believing? Is this what I've been wishing for? And God says, I am the Alpha and the Omega. If you did not receive it on earth, I'm offering it to you right now. At this time, it is up to you. It is finished. We are healed completely without fear, without doubt, without, with, without any worry. Our personal being, what we know is that our personal being is, is a place where we have always wished to be. But we know because uh, it is from generation to generation, it is from everlasting to everlasting. We know like Moses that even those who are left behind, God will take care of them. God will be their dwelling. God will be their sanctuary. God will be their, their refuge. And that is why we can actually, if we understand, if we come to understand at this point what it means to be in the dwelling of God, to be hidden under the shelter of the, of the wings, of the shadow of the Most High, when we have come to a place when we can, then we can say in, 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 in all fairness, rest in peace. Because then we know we have seen those people who are in heaven, our dearly beloved, they have seen, like one motivational speaker says, Nancy Donan says, I have seen the end of the movie. They have seen the end of the movie. They know what is written, the end. The end is there will be everlasting peace. The sorrow and mourning has flown away. Only peace, everlasting peace is with us at this time. They rest in peace. They have seen the end of the, of, of the movie. They can sing the song, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, pardon of God, born of his spirit and washed in his blood. Their story is mine. Their story is mine. And they are singing to the Savior all day long. They have finally found a full knowledge of the love of God. John Wesley has called it would come to a pain that they have been made perfect in love. The grace of sanctification, the grace that gives us the perfection, the grace of unity and oneness of Christ, they have finally arrived in. I don't think that any one of us would want to come back from a place like that. I don't think anybody would want to, to come from an experience like that. And Moses have seen all of it. And Moses knows all of it. And those, our dearly departed, have experienced the life of pain. And they've now experienced the life of joy, the life of peace. And they know that between, between, in between, in between life and death, we are in the hands of God. We can have the peace of God. And they choose the life in perfection the life in oneness with God, where there is no secret, where there is no mystery, where only the everything uh, Paul says, then we see face to face, as if we are looking into the mirror, the wish that we, the things that we have, we have been wishing for now become a reality in our life. And I come to a point as we have journeyed and we have looked at this, and some of us know 
the pain that our families had gone through. We were there when they were sick. Some of us know the pain because we are not there. We could not even visit them. We could not even hold their hands at their last moment. We could not even comfort them by just the touch because COVID-19 did not allow us to go visit uh, the, the, our, the, our disease, our people who were sick. You can now imagine when God comes and God says to them, you I will be your everlasting presence. And this, the new earth and the new heaven, there is no more see and all the monsters are gone out of your life my wish i think their wish and my prayer is that and moses continues in the psalm and and says um, and 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 help us to understand between death and birth the time that some theologians call in the meantime what is what our theme calls in time and eternity we live in what apostle where Paul calls the now and the yet to come. It is a time for you and me to experience the love of God, to think and to grow in a relationship by studying the Bible, of, the Bible, the scripture of God, by reflecting on the promises of God so that we can grow and know what, is, what uh, take our, our desires, our joy, our gratitude, our concerns in all manner of speaking to God. And this way we will find We'll find our being in Christ, the only one in whom we live and we move. Or, um, uh, Moses now continues and say, teach us. You know, when you have realized that how much time we have wasted not having a relationship with God, how much time we could have had, the joy that we could have had, if only we could have received and accepted and believed the word of God in time. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. I believe that our dearly departed pray for all of our families left behind to come to an understanding of who and what God has in store for us. The love, the peace, the comfort, the dignity for all, that we will be satisfied every morning with God's unfailing love. God's unfailing love is infectious. All of us, if we had that love, we will want to touch another. We will want to make Christ known to others. We will feed the lambs of Christ. We will take care of the sheep of Christ. We will pray and serve at all times until her kingdom comes and her will be done on earth, just as it done in heaven. It is the time that God gives to us on earth for us to live what is happening in heaven heaven. We cannot have that until such time that we allow ourselves to see what they are seeing, to hear what they are hearing. But we have the scripture before us. We have a communication that we have a God. We have the presence of the Holy Spirit to witness to us, to help us and to guide us. It is at this time, I believe that once you have known that the infectious uh, character of love then just comes into you and say, God, please make them know what I know, make them see what I see. And you know what God says? I think God says to, to, to him, there are people who are preachers. There are preachers on earth. There are ministers on earth. There are prayer women in, on earth. There are those who are encouraging on earth. There are motivational speakers on earth. Let them hear those. And then when they come here, they will know who God is. Can you imagine the life of peace that they have they found? We're living the same kind of peace. When we move, it is like we'll be saying, I've just moved from one room to the next room. If we have that kind of love on earth. But you and me as Christians have been given the, the of knowing the salvation. The world, the world has been who we and who will be forever. And listen to this. In the prayer of Moses and the deeds of God. And what are the deeds of God? That the deeds of God be shown to the seven that God has and the standards to their children. What are the deeds of God? The deeds of God are love. You know, um, in the story that love is a moving way, it's a bad, it's not an emotion, it's not a feeling, it is a moving way. And the deeds of God is love. Great, we have seen Christ crucified on the cross, and we see how death was a, was, was a very difficult and expensive thing. We saw the forgiveness 
by the call of love and the cause that cannot be broken. May the God of love be with you. And we will do the, the final thing with that. Both as witnesses of the grace of God. We go in the company of the Holy Spirit. Go we, and the the we go inspired to love as one with God. The power of the Holy Spirit go with you. And also with you. Amen. And we can pronounce benediction together. And I will raise our hands and pronounce benediction. And now, now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. One more walk in peace and may the peace of the Lord be with